hello guys this is dreams of anatomy knowledge channel um if you've not subscribed after watching please kindly subscribe and like and share thank you very much um today we'll be going into the the fifth outline under the breast anatomy in the previous videos we dealt with the introduction the shape and the extent the relations and the structure Today we'll be dealing with the blood supply. Blood supply has to do with kind of divided into atrial supply and venous drainage. Atrial supply can be regarded strictly on its own as the blood supply because atrial leaves the heart then supply different organs in the body. And the atrial supply to the breast is by chiefly by internal thoracic commissary artery then other rudimentary ones, the ones that are very, very what minute, that's the contribution is not that much. Is axillary artery, then posterior intercostal artery. Let's look at the venous drainage. The venous drainage of the breast is mainly by axillary veins, and you also have internal intercostal veins and internal thoracic veins. So that's it about the, the venous drainage. Then let's go to the next as so this is it is divided into atrial supply and venous drainage let's go to the next outline innovation innovation of the breast is usually by lateral and anterior cutaneous branches of second of second to sixth intercostal nerves and from supraclavicular nerves what this means is that what provides um, the innervation to the breast mainly is through a lateral and anterior cutaneous branches of second to sixth intercostal nerves. Although you still have um, the supraclavicular nerves, supraclavicular means kind of um, above the clavicle, and the nerve that passes above the clavicle, we call it what? Supraclavicular nerve. And that provides part of the innervation to the breast. And then let's go to the lymphatics, the lymphatic drainage. Is divided into the superficial lymphatics and the deep lymphatics. The superficial lymphatics drain skin or the skin of the breast except the nipple and the areola. The nipple and the areola are not drained by the superficial lymphatic. Take note, very important MCQ. And then when we go to the deep lymphatics, that's where you drain the nipple and the areola. Since you excluded them from the other ones, is now under the deep lymphatics that you treat the nipple and the areola. Then a student must understand that a plexus of lymph vessels, plexus means kind of branch network of lymph vessels deep to the areola is called sub areola or plexus. Like in the supine position, areola is the top, so below the areola you have the sub areola plexus. Not only sub areola plexus, it's sub areola plexus of SAPI. I repeat, sub plexus of SAPI. The last um, before the clinical correlates is the development of the breast. And the development is usually from an ectodermal thickening. What do I mean by ectodermal thickening? It's kind of outer. The meek line, that's where you usually form um, supernumerary um, nipples or polytilia. But and um, we treat that one under the clinical coordinates. So it developed from the midline or ridge of Scots, pronounced as those Scots, Scots, the midline of ridge of Scots. Let's go to the clinical coordinates. The clinical coordinates, um, there are so many, but I just decided to treat two as I feel that are important, and then they include the gynecomastia and polytilia. Gynecomastia is development of the breast in males. Males are not supposed to have prominent breast, but when you are not having male having um, prominent breast, you call it what gynecomastia. And then when you have polytilia, tilia is another name for the nipples. Polytilia has to do with what appearance of multiple nipples at different positions, and these different positions include midline ridge, and often you mistake this polytilia what nipples or supernumerary nipples that's another name for it you mistake them for moles so this is all about the gross anatomy of 
the female breast and then if you have not subscribed please kindly subscribe for more videos like this and turn on your notification thank you very much guys